What's the similarities between Chicago and New Orleans? Uh, well, it's a lot of killing. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> you know, let's let's not just run over it like we don't all know yeah, the sure, elephant in the room. I know that. that. But, but at the same time, like it's a real place. I was looking for something love. positive, Jason. No, God no, dang. no. I mean, you know. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. You did shy right now, mm -hmm. and and but you also being from New Orleans and doing that. Mm -hmm. What's the similarities between Chicago and New Orleans? Uh. Well, it's a lot of killing. So there's that. <laughs> you know, let's let's not just run over it like we don't all know yeah, the elephant sure, in the room. Sure. I know that. that. But at the same time, like it's a real place. I was looking for something love. positive, Jason. No, God no, dang. no. I mean, you know. But the gangs are different. I go a lot. Like, Y'all don't have the same gangs in. No, nah, we don't have gangs in New Orleans. Right. It's everybody too much for self. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. Fuck me up. When I first moved there. I was walking and they had like this interactive billboard on the Walgreens that was like 88 people shot over the weekend. I was wow. like, 88? Yeah, God, yeah, damn, yeah, 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 yeah. But while I was doing research for the role, right, because my thing was, not was, my thing is, whenever you do something that represents, you know, a culture, you need to put your best foot forward for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. because these people really take it serious. So my thing was, if I mess this up, at least Chicago would know that I tried my best, you yeah, know? So yeah. I remember like on Easter, I'm in somebody's backyard eating barbecue and shit with these people. Like, you know what I mean? Like they were seeing me. We seen Jason at, at, at JJ's Fish. Right. We seen Jason mm -hmm. at Jerk Villa. Yeah, because I'm outside. I'm trying to learn y'all. I'm trying mm -hmm. to feel this. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. You do Harold's Chicken and all that? All of that. All Man. of that. I ain't going to lie. At the same JJ's, I, I seen some fuckery and was like, I need to really be watching myself out here. Because I ain't going <laughs> to lie. You know, I ain't no bitch ass nigga. So I know how to move and what it is. But I seen some shit blew my mind, right? So I'm... <laughs> I'm going in there to go get my chicken. And they got this lady who ran in the gas station right quick. And she came, ran outside. I was like, oh, Lord, they took my car. Damn it. My baby in the car. What? Why do these dudes drop the baby off <laughs> at like a bus stop? They don't care. A couple of blocks down. I saw that car in a movie. everything. Bloom. <laughs> I saw that in a movie. Oh, wow. in real life. Movie. I couldn't believe it. I said, these niggas different. Different. <laughs> I saw these that in a is movie. Different. But Chicago is it's an interesting place. You know, it's the first time I ever um experienced racism from a brown person. Uh oh. Really? Wow. From very a brown confusing. person. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Very confusing. It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, you do know white people don't like you either. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, why you treat me like this? This is crazy. Bitch, I got a sixty thousand dollar watch on. Just because you take this hotel <laughs> serious and you're here with your friends. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, I'm, I'm staying in this hotel. You guys are the guests. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Well, not the guests, but you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, y'all came here to party. I'm I'm chilling. So just because I got on some Crocs, I'm I'm a problem. Like, wow. it's, it was very, very strange. How long did you do that show for? Oof. Shot. Um, I did two seasons, but altogether, I lived in Chicago like three years. Three years? And mm -hmm. and, that, and that woman here on the floor, the, the Davis girl who what you had your issues with. <sighs> Super clown. I, but at the end of the day... You know God is over everything. Exactly. He so don't, I might have made some mistakes, come on now. but God don't. Come on, yeah. So <laughs> you know he, what I mean? He, so. he, he move you the way you where you need to be. Exactly. So anything that happened, you are, man, you're, you're dope, man, you're a dope dude, bro. I appreciate So that. everything that happened, God got a paved way for you. Exactly. So when somebody do you wrong, what they meant for you for bad, God will turn it to good. Exactly. That's why, to be <laughs> honest, I ain't never, you know, because I started... Like, the more I get closer to God, bro, the more I start to feel sorry for people when they do fucked up shit to Come on now. Come on now. You know what I mean? Like, how fucked up does your life have to be for you to want to see somebody else lose? Come like, on now. That's crazy. That's real. What's that thought process like? You know what I mean? I never went through that while I woke up in the morning and was like, you know what? I got something for the ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I've never felt like that in my life. Like, just that's pray crazy. for them because not I everybody do. know God, right? Yeah, not everybody, and even the people who know God might not be at their le the level that they need to be, right? Knowing God, you know what right. I mean. Right. So everybody's a struggling Christian, right? Right, and everybody deserves grace too, right? You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody perfect, so I don't be tripping. Like, 
it is what it is. At the end of the day, um, whatever God saved me from, you know, I'm I'm thankful. But what yeah. did you learn from your situation, though? Because I believe that God put us through things to learn. Absolutely. I learned, for one, that, like, I'm always at work. I used to try to separate the two Jasons. You know what I mean? Like, I got, because I've never had a problem on set. Very professional, very, like, you know, I take this shit serious. You know what I mean? Um, But I, I would get off and want to be off. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to talk about business. Don't approach me in the club and ask me if I come do shit. You know, I don't. I don't want to do none of that. Like, mm -hmm. please let me just be cool. Like, and I don't. I don't mind taking pictures with people. Like, I'm always super nice and shit. But as far as like doing business outside of the workplace, I wasn't on that. I got people that you could talk to. Protocol is set up. Please go through the protocol. Otherwise, your request will be denied. You know, and uh, for one. It's not the right mind frame to be in to help us. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you see a lot of the people who we consider the greats really don't have much to show for it except for a healthy bank account. Come on now. You know? So I, I started to pay attention like, oh, as soon as I cross the threshold of my house, as soon as I cross that door, I'm at work. It's just what it is. You know, this is what I signed up for. So... The way I conduct myself, how I choose to treat other people, you know, every word that come out of my mouth need to be thought about. Especially no. in today's society where a camera or a phone is so accessible and people right. be videoing you. It's on social media. Right. They're selling it. Whatever. Right. Let me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.